Good day, Cloud Gurus, and welcome to this episode of Azure This Week. This time, it is a strange Java-themed episode where we sneak a peek at four services from Azure. These include support for Azure SE running on Linux in Azure App Services, now in public preview, a synchronous Azure Storage SDK also for Java in public preview, and there are now some new recommendations in Azure Advisor to possibly save you some extra dollars. And then finally, Azure Blockchain Workbench has added a range of top feature requests, all coming up in this episode of Azure This Week. Now, I'm not a Java developer, but 12 million others are. And I fully appreciate what Microsoft is doing in supporting developers, no matter what their language and platform of choice might be. To that end, you can now use the Java SE with the Azure App Services. All the benefits of app services such as performance monitoring, scalability, security, CI, CD support, and high availability are available, and you can get started quickly using a Maven project on the Spring framework. This is only the start for Java support on the Azure platform, though, as Microsoft is promising Gradle and Jenkins supports next. We don't stop the Java news there, as the Azure Storage SDK now supports Java as well. The storage SDKs for the various languages are used to provide an easy interface for developers to provide cloud storage that is highly available, secure, durable, scalable, and redundant. The Java implementation is using the reactive extensions library for Java, RxJava, for asynchronous operations and the Netty HTTP client for REST web service calls. The SDK moves data without client buffering and makes it much easier to build event-driven applications with Java on Azure. The Java SDK is also using version 10 of the storage SDK architecture, which is thread safe and provides immutable objects that can be shared in your application. It is overall Java goodness from Azure. The Azure Advisor is probably not the sexiest feature of the platform if you're a developer, but if you're managing cost, it is total hotness. Azure Advisor is a free service that analyzes your Azure usage and provides recommendations on how you can optimize all your resources to not only reduce cost, but also boost performance, improve security and reliability. It's one of those things that's great to have to make the boring stuff easier. The new recommendations available now in Azure Advisor includes analysis of the last 30 days of VM usage and recommended purchase of Azure reserved instances where this can save you money. Subscriptions that don't have Azure Health Alerts configured will be flagged. Identification of high spend subscriptions that could benefit from a support plan with dedicated technical support. And recommendations for solving common configuration issues in the Azure Traffic Manager, such as identifying time to live or TGL settings for high traffic endpoints. The Azure Blockchain Workbench is Microsoft's cloud solution for running and hosting blockchain solutions. This week, some of the top requested features were added to the service. A top requested feature is to be able to disable and enable unused blockchain apps. Well, apparently you couldn't do that before. Uh, so now that's sorted. If you use the Ethereum proof of authority nodes for your blockchain, Azure Blockchain Workbench now allows you to point it at an existing Ethereum POA network. It's BYOB, bring your own blockchain. And for the developers, you can now use enums in your blockchain development projects. Yay! <laughs> there are more new features, and if you want to know more about blockchain, then check out episode 104 of Future of Tech right here on the Cloud Guru Network. I hear the host is amazing. This is it for this episode of Azure This Week. To recap, Azure App Service now supports Java SE on Linux. That gives you all the benefits of app services such as performance, monitoring, scalability, security, CI, CD support, and high availability. The asynchronous Azure Storage SDK for Java is now also available, making it much easier to build event-driven applications with Java on Azure. And a bunch of new recommendations are now available in the Azure Advisor. And a bunch of new features requested by the community are now also available in the Azure Blockchain Workbench. So see you next week for much more Azure news and happiness. Keep being awesome, Cloud Gurus.